<laughs> All right, so we started, and welcome to the Highest Fox Show, hosted by Alexis Fox, and we're at an, a gem. <laughs> we're at the boxing sort. gym, top rank. Okay, and yeah. who do we have here? We have Floyd Castro Diaz. Three time. Three, three time. time returning guests. What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> here. And yeah, still it. undefeated. And still, yeah, yeah. You know? still champion. Man. Yeah, because you know, once you start losing, we're not gonna have you back. That's it. I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're having a uh, liquid death. <laughs> <laughs> My modelo. Yeah. You know, AKA. <laughs> You know. <laughs> the after training explain, post-workout. Ex- explain what happened when you walked in. <laughs> yeah, I bring in uh, two cases of liquid death, which we all know what that lo- kind of looks like. And, uh, and there's a lot of people. People drink it at work, and they all think like people have beer and stuff like that. So it's just a little confusing. And thought <laughs> it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When she walked in, like, like I saw the co- I saw the coffee, and I, you know, I've seen the coffee before. Then I saw the I saw the box, and I was like. She, you know, she got two two boxes of you know modelos here. I'm like, all right, yeah. <laughs> we're about to party. Yeah, to give it to everybody. We're gonna party. party. You know, she, <laughs> she was handing out like little she was kids. Until we were <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go through your head like, does she know how old I am? Like, <laughs> did she suddenly forget what where she's at? <laughs> as soon as the sparring was over, she's just gonna let everybody in. Yeah, it's <laughs> 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 <It's> a party <laughs> in here now. <laughs> You have a tendency of having products <laughs> that people think it's one thing, but it's not. That's a great thing about marketing and advertising is sure. that that happens a lot. Is you know, it's great advertising in a sense because everybody wants to drink it. It looks cool. It's fun. It's great. It gets rid of the plastic in the environment, mm-hmm. which is what their whole um, campaign's about. You yeah. know, let's let's get the plastics out because recycle's a bunch of BS. You know, most of that stuff gets all put in the same, and nothing's getting recycled. And it's great. You can smash it down. It's lightweight, recycle it, and it's good water. They mm-hmm. also have sparkling water, too. But and flavored, too. Fla- flavored sparkling water, oh, too. Right. they got mango, yeah. berry, and lime. Uh, oh I think yeah, we got to try that. Okay. I you know there's going to be one more flavor. Yeah, 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 I know there's going to be one more flavor. You probably know the, probably the Asian flavor. You know which one I tasted? It's <laughs> smart water. Uh, yeah, flavor. Uh, uh, yeah, smart water. Yeah, they're, yeah, they come like out with flavored waters now. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, because people are kind of like not. Uh, getting away from soda and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, their berry is really actually really really good. Yeah, berry's really good. Yeah. Um, so yeah. yeah, thank you, Liquid Death, for the pallet of water. <laughs> you got two pallets of water, by the way. Pretty much, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> pretty much, uh, your two car garage is now one car garage. That's right. So anyway, so congratulations <laughs> on <laughs> the your fight in New Jersey, right? Right. Yeah. So uh, how was that? How was that? You know, it was a great experience. I think it was um, my biggest um, venue. Okay. I've probably fought in so far, cause um, I think the the second biggest one was the one in uh, MSG. No, in no, San Diego. no, oh, San, uh, Diego? San Diego. Okay, like um, in terms of like how much they can see. Oh, okay. you know, yeah, yeah, like yeah. I, I fought in the Hulu Theater in Madison Square Garden. Right. So it's like, it's like the ring, and then um, the the stands is like that way. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's not like all around. Oh, you know, yeah, that's that's all all yeah, yeah, it's oh, all the way okay. around. So when I walked in, you know, but even like, cause my dad like before I walked in like fully and got my hands wrapped and all he wasn't there yet Mm -hmm. and uh um he was taking care of his own thing and so i walked i walked to see the the ring and all that and i was just looking at the empty stands and it was like you know just soaking it all in yeah you know it's it's definitely you know great opportunity to be where i'm at you know at at the age i am and your walk-in your walk-in is really cool you dress up as a goalie yeah goalie yeah 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 yeah, 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 that's that's my pops right here you know (laughs) he's uh it's halloween behind him (laughs) is that gonna be a halloween costume (laughs) yeah i I wish i fought a um you know this uh, like october because then i would have i would have done something cool for Halloween. eventually i'll fight october yeah yeah. i'll fight for halloween but you know that's it for an upcoming outfit you know it was so exciting watching you actually perform and fight i didn't i wasn't expecting the such an emotional like excitement coming like i was i punched my hand so hard i thought at one moment i was like i think i broke my hand but i kept i was like i think i broke my hand like i thought i was gonna have to go to the hospital afterwards it was it was really exciting for me like i've never been to a boxing like a live boxing match like that and like all the fights were exciting but yeah. it was a lot right. more intense for me so i was yelling at the ref yeah like, like i i don't even know all the things <laughs> the ref's supposed to do i was like do your fucking job man beat his ass up. <laughs> the ref beat his ass <laughs> 
And it was like, good. I would have beaten the ref's ass. The <laughs> card was great too because the card you went to there was like yeah. every, there was a lot of good prospects like yeah. that, like they put us on a real like like a like a star like kind of like a star like Happy a star started, yeah, yeah like an up and comer like type of card it was That's great awesome. you know yeah yeah it was intense you so know? um but like how was it because you know you're traveling back and forth obviously the time difference how. Was it any different as far as training wise, or do you have to like, find a gym, or you had no places where to where to go? How how did you prepare for the fights over the East Coast? So um, in the East Coast, like, so I tried for my my uh, my first fight in the East Coast when I went to when I was fighting in MSG. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we tried to do the whole East Coast you know training camp thing, and and I, I've lived there before. Yeah. you know, and. I just think the camp just wasn't as great as I as I would have wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's the traveling. It's the uh, you know. I feel like there's too much things going on. I think on. I think that's what and, it is. In New York, yeah. you know, like you could go outside in New York and everybody's on the block doing something. Yeah. You know, it, it just there's something to do. You know, and it'll kind of stray away from what you you could do and be on time to. Mm -hmm. Like it would say say it would take like an hour and a half to get to the gym, then I gotta train and then take that hour and a half train right back. It's tiring. It's yeah, time it could consuming. Be two, two and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. it depends. It yeah. depends yeah. where we go. You know? Yeah, it's crazy. Because we, we 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 usually don't go to the same gym. We kind of bounce. Right. You know, and and, and especially trying to find uh, sparring partners was was even harder even because because yeah. you know at the time when I when I did live in New York I was a lot lighter, so you know and everybody back then I knew like who you know who I could spar away. I kind of mm -hmm. had a set gym almost. Right. You know and but you know now I was I'm a little bit bigger and. And I didn't know. I, d you know, I didn't know. We didn't really know who to get. You mm -hmm. know, we got some sparring, some sparring in, but uh, I just it wasn't it wasn't as great as training camp as I yeah. as I would have wanted it to That's be. That's right. This last one we did it here. We ended it here. We went over there just to slow it down. Yeah. Okay. But we did have a gym thanks to Shakur Stevenson, his, oh. his grandfather, and and Coach Dirt. You know, oh, that's great. All, you know, they're all they're all good people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they will make sure we had we had a gym to go to. Okay. They they got like three or four. They got a lot of gyms over there. Oh, nice. Yeah, so and obviously yeah. In, the, in the New Jersey area, so, you know, they were like like five minutes from, like, you know, where we were. It wasn't, it wasn't like a, old, like a, a really far drive. Um, but, yeah, I have all my training camps here. It's, uh, it's more like, you you know, you home gym, home gym, mm -hmm. you know. And if but we got it, mountains. You know, you yeah, know, fitness centers. I see centers. you up in Mount Charleston. It, yeah, yeah, it's, sure. it's, a, it's really like, um, you know, just focus, you know, kind of get away from, like, all that, um. You know all that outside stuff because you know when you're when you're in camp you just you're focusing on the fight you know you zero in you, on yeah that. you got to zero mm -hmm. in yeah you know? hyper focus on what you what your goal course, is to do mm -hmm. I can definitely understand that because when I have to travel for work I'm totally thrown off my normal routines I try to keep as much close to the normal routine so I can operate at the highest level as I can possibly mm -hmm. do but it's hard like first of all I, I'm you know I'm eating different foods even though I might get an Airbnb and try to cook at home there's yeah. a lot of eating out there's just it's just different. Oh, yeah, Your whole yeah, schedule is thrown exactly. off. No, but yeah, when we travel, it's tough. We, we eat out a lot. Yeah, a and lot. I think yeah. that's, that's why I do the yeah, Airbnbs. How, how was how was the, the yeah, diet I, and stuff like that? Yeah. Wait, the what? Like when you were in the East Coast, like as far as food, you know, oh, oh. altering your yeah, diet. Yeah, so, so I mean, I, I have my, my grandmother over there. Oh, okay. And she, uh, that's yeah, awesome. yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> You know, but so she's probably cooking a ton of food for next, <laughs> next time I'm going to ask her your grandma. <laughs> 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 I need to go eat with yeah. grandma. <laughs> so, you know, she'll cook us Peruvian food, you yeah. know, when she can. But, but you know, sometimes we have to eat out. Or for the most part, mm -hmm. if we have to, you know, we just yeah. just eat out. Because what are we going to, you know, well, I we can't, eat, can't we go to a grocery sushi, store every day. Or, or right. uh, seafood. Right. You know. Like, I, I, I eat a lot of fish. Like, I just like, yeah. I like seafood, mm -hmm. like, in general. Like, I'm really, yeah. I'll, eat, I'll kill sushi, like, any day yeah. of the week, so. You know, anytime <laughs> all yeah. you can eat for sushi yeah, places, I'll, probably. I'll, um, it's like we're not inviting him. Yeah. <laughs> now I just went to a seafood uh, boil broil. Is that what? It, yeah, it was boil, fucking yeah, delay. It was delicious. Oh my yeah. god! Was it hot and juicy? No, but when you're in New York, good. You got to go to uh, uh, City Island. City okay, Island? City Island. Oh my god! I food? went to the Coney Island for the first time. <laughs> Yeah, I went to Coney Island for the first time too. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was with the rides. I screamed the whole time. Why? <laughs> yeah, when well, we went, I well, we went we went for like what was it, baseball game? Yeah, for a baseball game. We just you know trains and all, we just we just got there hella late, right? And and by the time we got there, it's nighttime well, basically. No, it, it was it was raining and foggy, so they canceled the game. Oh, uh, yeah, so they canceled it. So, so when they canceled it, we just walked around and everything to make sure. So we were just like. Oh yeah, we just took a, like the longest train ride we could possibly <laughs> take from Bronx, you know, to Coney Island. Right. And, you know, I got to see the 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 Warriors wheel. You know, the mm -hmm. the 
the little uh, what what is it? What is it called? The Warriors or no? Know uh, that's, you know that know. The, it's a Ferris wheel. Yeah, but it's a, I a Ferris wheel. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Wheel of Wonder. Yeah, yeah. Wheel of Wonder. Wonder. You know, I used, I used to play the, that's the probably PS2 been there for two hundred years. You know, <laughs> it's, it's probably so dangerous. I know. To ride that. They had one of the oldest uh, roller, the roller coasters. Coaster. They there's just like a wooden had an anniversary of it. I want to say it was like a hundred years <laughs> yeah. old. And I'm like, there's no way I'm getting on that. I'm scared of the ones they made yesterday. Like, I'm not getting on. No, especially like you know, with October coming, you know, obviously Halloween's coming around. They had that little park there with with the traveling uh um you know the rides and stuff like that you remember you see the videos where it's like rocking back and forth because oh, yeah. no one like oh, the carnies yeah 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 those are things things are dangerous yeah dangerous things but um yeah so how so uh, during the fight um did you had like remember i kept talking about like did you had um any um information about your fighter or stuff like that or mm. you just kind of went in there well, we had the thing is we had our original fighter from brazil okay he pulled, he oh, he pulled, pulled out, out two okay. weeks before oh, oh, right. oh for the fight wow. so i had like a two-week replacement guy. okay and and it was actually like like a week and some change because you know they have to they had to find the guy it wasn't like boom bam you know right, we gotta yeah. just, uh, right here you know so it's like a couple day thing but right. and, you know it, it was a late replacement and um I mean, I still got the job done, you right. know. Yeah, um, obviously yeah it, it, it's different because we, we're preparing for a, a different fighter. Yeah. That boxes and mm-hmm. all that. And to come with a different fighter, the bangs instead of boxing. You know, right. I, I definitely throw things just, off. Yeah. You know, but um, I mean, what can you do? This is boxing and there's a lot of adversity and, and just anything you do. Right. So, um, you know, I, I'm, I come prepared no matter what. You know, I know how to adapt. So, mm-hmm. it, you know. You still got the job done. Yeah, <laughs> I still got the job done. And, uh, you know, we ended up dropping them. And... And I, I clipped him a couple times yeah, too, so but but I really I feel like I I would have stopped him if there was like five seconds left in the round, no ten seconds, mm-hmm. and the referee's counting, but he's like taking forever. You I know? saw that. Yeah. Like, oh, I was getting. And then he was taking forever, and then and then yeah, he let him go. Yeah, he went like this. He went like this. So I'm I run from the the, the neutral corner. Right. I like sprint to him, and if you look at the video, I, when I sprinted to him. He he didn't even have his yeah. hands up yet. Like he, right. I was in punching distance, uh, and he did, he barely had his hands up yet. Like he was, he, oh, he, I would have no. caught him. Right. I would stopped him right then and there. If and he no. gave me at least twenty seconds. Yeah. But um, we were all like that. Ma- that guy was saved by the bell. Yeah, and then well, he yeah, yeah, but that's the thing. When he the bell rang, he went to his corner. I think it's on and ESPN. He went to grab the rope. Yeah, when he missed it completely. Yeah, he, oh, so you know yeah. he walked to, he to, to, to the corner. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, he he like missed it. Like he was still like wobbling because yeah. the ref and the referee told him to go side, side to side, side, and he was yeah. and he was still wobbling yeah. side to side. I mean, like, but it is what but it that is. La- I mean, that last ref, the the woman ref was was awesome. Like oh, yeah. she was like like one, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. Like, <laughs> she was, was she awesome. was on. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you? <sighs> that's another thing. Is like, do you? Do you know about the refs mm. beforehand? So not all the way. Like I don't know any of them personally. Of. Obviously, the day of. Okay. You know, they, 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 every they state got different refs. Right. Some of them, you know, they do travel. Uh huh. But for the most part, they are uh, in the same, you know, same well, this whatever state they own. Right. So it's for the commission, yeah. you know, the commission right. will come and they say. You know, they have to be licensed for a certain state. and We get to know them as, uh, if we go back and fight again. Like, oh, I know I, I worked yeah, with her yeah, before, I so with, I know yeah. what she looks for. Maybe, right. you know, like, maybe she doesn't oh. like this, but she likes this. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, that's, that's the thing about refs. Yeah, it's all like they refs, have, they have, like, you yeah. know, a book of, like, you know, what they, you know, what to generally look for. But, you know, they might let a shot um, to the side go, mm-hmm. like, and then some of them might. Some of them might not. Some of them might be, like, you know, that's, that's to the back, basically. Right. They don't allow that. And so you have to, you know, go about that, you know, a different way. But they try to keep it as like cordial as possible because it's like, yeah. you know, they don't, you not, you don't want no conflict of interest. Yeah, yeah for sure, of definitely, definitely. You know, that's definitely. Part of but like I mean, I'm sure they have a track record, and oh so yeah, it's sure, like, especially sure. like one's a slow counter, one's like, a quick like counter. Like Floyd, Floyd's been with Kenny Bayless for like forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like it's like a million of his fights he worked. So <laughs> um, <laughs> that was Joe Cortez. Yeah, yeah it was Cortez. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so um, uh, yeah. So tell us about this. Uh, so y- how long you been training in this gym? Uh, top right. Is this are you now in training camp? Yeah, yeah, now yeah. for your next. Yeah, race. officially, and like I'm, officially. I'm locked in. I'm okay. In, so, um, so, so thank long you been for tra- making time for yeah, us. Yeah, no problem. No problem. So yeah, tell us like when you start when you start training in this gym. Like so, as soon as I got signed, basically, um, you know, I can't. I've been here. I've been here a couple times before, right? Yeah, yeah. We've been you here. know, okay. uh, um, when I worked with Shakur for the first time, I was here. Like they mm-hmm. they brought us here. Right? I was was yeah, I already yeah. signed or no? No, no? I wasn't signed. You were still okay. sixteen. I was still I was sixteen, and and you know he wanted to work. I told I asked him if he wanted to work. He said, "Yeah, tomorrow." So 
we got that done and mm-hmm. uh um i've just been here ever since you know it's you see how it's it's private for the yeah. most part yeah. you know it's more of a positive vibe you know yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's a teamwork type of vibe you know everybody obviously they you know um you know we look to outshine each other in in, in a way you know but in, in general we're you know we still our team or a team you know we work under the same promotion company and we know it's we understand it's a business so uh you know we have our fun here and we and we do what we have to do and learn from each other and grow off of each other and that's a uh, that's the yeah. type of environment I like being in. Mm-hmm. You and know. the word gets around because now we got other gyms coming here. A lot of guys from other gyms like coming before, here. Before it wasn't yeah. like, yeah, like it when w- I first came here, it was not like a million people were coming here. Was like this a fairly new gym? It looks... No, no, no. no, no, no it's it, been they they upgraded. They, 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 yeah, they just, they just made like a lot of changes. Like gotcha. That's what yeah. it was. So okay. To, to Frank. Yeah, my man Frank. Frankster. You know, he... Uh, <laughs> um, you know, I've known him since the, be- since the beginning of time, basically. Yeah. So uh, since Mayweather, since the Mayweather day. So, um, but yeah, I've been here since you know since I first got signed, and it's uh it's a great environment, man. Yeah. That's know, awesome. I, I like to be here, and um, um, I'm just looking to stay here. And yeah. how often, how often you've been training in here since you start since you signed? Uh, anytime, every, 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 every day, every day, every, <laughs> every morning, day, no, every night. night. It <laughs> every feels night. like you know we train at two o'clock in the morning. We train at two o'clock in the morning. Nice. You know, um. We do what we can when oh, we can. Oh, you can come here anytime you want. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, sweet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do, would you have like they have to have the sign in or like yeah, no, 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 use no, them no, no, or okay, no. you just yeah, you yeah. Just yeah. So show it, up. it just yeah, just show up, you know, and let let Frank know or whatever case may be. But um, yeah, you know, it's a it's a positive vibes and and that's you know, obviously a gym's a gym, mm-hmm. so you know it's it's focused when you're in gym. Well, I mean, during the summertime, I mean, where did you start training during the summertime here or no? Yeah, we train. Well, so it's gotta so be. It's gotta be. We've been here pretty much almost two years. Yeah, I mean, it gets, it's, hot. It gets yeah, pretty it hot. It gets here. hot. Yeah, for sure, it gets hot. Like you, you gotta lift up the gate. <laughs> turn on the swamp <laughs> Turn on the fan. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, be drinking some more liquid death this time. Yeah, yeah. yeah you Next thing I'll see, be pouring yeah, it all yeah, over yourself. Yeah. So, like, oh. Shotgunning, shotgunning like, the liquid up. This is not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what is this turned into? Just kidding. So. Yeah, man. It's going to be a great learning experience to be in ring with other people. Like, yeah. And what bravery to be like, that's not like me just learning something. Like, you're yeah. actually in there getting hit. Yeah, we, we yeah. watched you spar for a little bit. Though. Yeah, yeah. So. It was, um, I was with uh, Deji sparring, you know, just before this interview. And, uh, um, like, you know, at first I had, like, mixed, re- like, mixed feelings about uh, YouTubers, but I... But oh, they're, they're YouTuber guys? He's a YouTuber. Oh, gotcha. Uh, you know KSI? Yes. He, that's, that's his brother. Oh, that's his brother. Okay, brother. Yeah. gotcha. He's actually fighting Floyd Mayweather. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Okay, is <laughs> Yeah, no, no, Deji. The oh, guy Deji's, he's actually flying. Okay. That guy you're sparring. The that guy that sparred is sparring. Wow. He's going to fight Floyd Mayweather in the, <laughs> okay. in the oh, exhibition wow. fight. Okay. He's fighting actually the day after I fight. But oh, yeah, wow. in Dubai, in wow. Dubai or something like that. Huh, I had no idea. Yeah, okay. yeah, he, um, um, you know, he's he's real good. Uh, he's a real good guy. You know, when I finally I finally got to meet him, and because mm. you know personally I didn't know him that much. You know, right. I, I didn't. Really, that's my yeah, first time meeting him. Real humble. You know, he's humble. He he likes to learn. He's a quick learner. You know, um, I did a, I did a little move and yeah, he did. And, <laughs> he and then I did a little move and then he he liked it. He said, "Oh," and then try to do it back. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, you know, that's what you're supposed that's to do. Yeah, point, right? That's right? the point. You know, you're supposed to learn and. And we did it with no headgear, which was good. Yeah, you know, I saw that. Uh, um, so I mean, it's he he was cool. He was cool, you know. And uh, you know, he's definitely a, a pretty good YouTuber fighter. I've actually seen him like the first fight. He has four now. Okay. Uh, and and his last fight, he improved a lot. You okay. know, I think he knocked the guy out. And, oh wow. Um, yeah, he he improved a lot. You know, he and he got some power and 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 some speed for how much for how much he weighs. You know, he's like one seventy, I think, right now. Hmm. You know, so um, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. yeah, I didn't even know like uh, the whole well, yeah. thing always. Yeah, like, I mean, notice they have the, they have like the cameras and stuff like that. That makes sense. Yeah. Stuff, yeah That's sure. good. Yeah, that'd be really good. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I got to you know like one of his stuff, and whenever he comes back, or whatever in Vegas, you know, because yeah. he lives in he lives in England, so mm-hmm. if he ever comes back in Vegas, you know, you know he he'll know who to come to and just hang out with or, or get some tips off of, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I for think sure. that camaraderie is so important mm-hmm. among people. Like, I mean, it's, it's a sport, you know. And if I can, if someone asks for tips and I can give them tips, I will. You yeah. Know? Like, well, I mean, uh, unless they're fighting yeah, against yeah, you, yeah, it's yeah, like, no. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, what's your job? To, even, you know, I think even if you give them tips, it ain't gonna it, it's, it's you know, there's one thing from you know actually doing it, or actually you know somebody saying it to you than doing it, you know, because I could say to do this and do that. And and you got to do it. You got to go out and do it. So uh, um, I I gave him some pointers. I gave him some tips. And you know he has footage of the sparring. So he'll definitely you know rewatch it and right. and you know do you know see what he m- messed up on. You know see mm-hmm. what he what he felt like he could have done better. 
and and all he liked this move that I did, and so he's gonna try and imitate that. Mm-hmm. You know, so his coach was watching, so his coach I could tell was was really looking at it. Yeah. So uh, um yeah, man. I mean, he has uh, he has flaws and stuff like that, but I mean. At the end of the day, you know, he's, he, that comes with experience, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, he's still you know, he started he started much, super yeah. late, you yeah. know. So I mean, but I give him props though. I give him props for getting in the ring with Floyd. You know, that's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know. And, that's why I'm just like, what? You know, Floyd is Floyd. Well, so. because yeah, well, initially we're going what five rounds, and then it's like then like right after the six, it's like right, let's keep going, let's or something <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, <laughs> you went, we went eight. We oh went yeah, eight. yeah, you went eight. Yeah, that was good. So uh, um. You know he has he, he has a he has that like you know a little dog in him where he's like oh yeah he, he like he likes he said it was fun like he you know after like the seventh round no sixth round he was like this is fun he likes because we were we weren't like ODing right but we were working enough to where like okay you don't want to get hit with that again you know yeah, yeah. Well, he went down a few know? times yeah. like all right hold on give me a second uh-huh. all right let me back you get back up yeah it looks like he felt he felt some of that <laughs> you know I mean uh, um, and I'm just showing him like you know like you know where it hurts because you know body all that like anywhere like there's certain points of the body where it just hurts you know no matter how long you've been boxing anyways like like if you get caught a certain shot of the body or or get clipped on a certain spot of the head you yeah know, you know yeah. what can you do yeah you know? for sure yeah, sometimes you don't it's not something you get used to i'm sure no nah, like like you'll, you'll better, know what to expect like say you get hit like you'll understand how to maybe recover or put on a game face or whatever mm-hmm. case may be but how to protect that area yeah yeah maybe. but you know if you if you get caught it's just how it is that's mm-hmm. that's the sport of boxing you know that's what I've learned recently that, you know, no matter how good you are, you still get clipped. You right. know, and that's yeah. and just how you recover from that, how you bounce back is like, you know, how, how fighters should, you know, be. Right. I um, think it's a life lesson, too, no matter how much you can fall down all you true. want, mm-hmm. but it's how you bounce back. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it's all the fine. lessons. Also, keeping a poker face. Because mm-hmm. you want to be like, oh, like, oh, like, yeah, I heard. Oh, no, then you know, know, then he's like, oh, I'm going to hit that yeah. area all the mm-hmm. time. Yeah. I've got him this oh, time. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because pr- as soon as you get that boost of confidence, you got him down, then yeah. it, it's almost like it gives you power. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> do, you ever, <laughs> do you ever fake getting hurt and then try to get it, catch him all guard sometimes or no? Uh, I've, I've done that in sparring a lot. Like, I mean, like, I, I don't really fake it in a fight just because, like, you know the rest it depends like yeah you, you don't want yeah you don't want to they'll wave off anything nowadays right you know what i mean like it's not like back in the days 15 rounds where dudes are like basically <laughs> <laughs> getting pumped like i used to i was seeing this like grainy it was like grainy video of like they had the brown leather gloves right. and like this, <laughs> this whole thing. Was, they're doing that and, yeah they were, they were just mm, 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 and then the guy fell his hand one hand was on the rope and it, he, he was on the ground and dude was just <laughs> <laughs> and the referee's just standing there just looking at him while he's just getting pummeled yeah. senselessly you know oh my God. So, no, it was bad back then, you know, back then, wow. back then that's, that's brutal, why man. that's why you know everybody like was, you know was punch drunk because back then they didn't care they didn't wave off jack like dude yeah. this is dude he got hit like 20 times he was like He's on the rope like this, just <laughs> leaning, just because he's on the rope. He's just, doom, 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 doom. <laughs> just not let, not let him on. The win and the other guy dies. That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> We're fighting to the death. Well, uh, so, but yeah, the very sparring, I'm sure you're like, you, I didn't gives him confidence for a second then yeah, it, does. it does you, know. <laughs> you pop him one <laughs> and then you clip uh, there's actually a, a pretty good clip on instagram this guy he like the guy threw a body shot he faked it yeah and then the guy the guy came in and then he just leaped but in yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah yeah i remember seeing that yeah, i remember seeing that yeah and he just dropped the dude yeah you know? and so that's um, crazy that's a perfect example of that i mean well same thing that, like i mean i watch ufc sometimes it's sometimes like that one guy he was like wobbling the entire time i think he's he's now the the the, the champion he beat uh, i think usman he just uh, recently beat Usman. Um, okay, okay. But oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But in his previous fight, he he got clipped and was wobbling, and they, were, they thought the ref was going to call it, but literally he came back and literally won the fight. Amazing. But he, that's but crazy. That That's the one where, he, like, he... F- he fainted like a, a punch and then threw do that do that kick right yeah to like a high kick yeah like he, he like fainted a, a what was it like a right hand that was that was smart that yeah was, that was a good a use of feints I I couldn't see myself being in UFC you know because uh, <laughs> you know it's now and then it's four ounce gloves like I fight in eight ounces yeah it's four ounces it's like basically my bare hand uh-huh. with a little bit of wrap yeah with a, with a little bit of padding like this much right you know and most of it's like right here and then they it's get the they get elbowed, uh-huh. kick, knee, you know, grappling. I, I do want to learn sure a little. My elbows are that'd be nuts. No, that's it's they get cut like you see like they their face be jacked up yeah. after. Yeah. That's yeah. why the ears be all like that. Call 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 flower. Flower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One that's of my friends a a, my friend one of my friends is getting into Carmen uh, Carmen RX. Oh yeah, she's getting MMA. Yeah. Yeah, she's doing yeah. uh, judo. I think yeah. no judo or 
No, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's her boyfriend or husband does the same. Or yeah. Something. But yeah, I just recently saw her get into it. It was pretty great. I want to learn a little. Am I gonna lie? Maybe like grappling, I, I would assume. Yeah, like, I, I think that'd be kind of cool skill different. to know. Yeah, just because like when I'm hugging Well, I mean, what about whatever. like kickboxing? Is it, is it? Because uh, I mean, if I did it, I couldn't kick the dude anyway. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I sparred a kickboxer once. And yeah, he, he kicked like he kicked me for real, you know. <laughs> you <laughs> you know I didn't couldn't kick him because I don't know what the hell is how to kick him, but you know, it was definitely a fun experience. I would I would want to learn how to grapple though. I think like like wrestling a little bit would mm-hmm. be yeah. good just because like when you're on the inside, you, know, you got well, fighters like that's where I put him in football so you can learn yeah, a little bit like of the it. Whole yeah, yeah, just yeah. just to yeah. get me like Push more back, like you know you aggressive know. that that like you know. Right, you know, like grit, almost. Mm-hmm. You know, I was a, I was a wide receiver. I was I was first string cornerback, so I grapple definitely. at work sometimes. <laughs> 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 it's a different kind of grappling, by the way. It's a little different kind. kind of of sure. <laughs> sure. I gotta know what that feels. Like. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna be really good that. at it. That's <laughs> 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 normal grappling. <laughs> Dude, you should see. Okay, so we gotta talk about. So we <laughs> we did a Thanksgiving theme scene. Where I was her husband. <laughs> oh, that's my exercise age. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, is that what he said? Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so, which was which was his favorite Mr. part. Mr. Here are the things, though. But here are the <laughs> things, though. Like I wasn't I wasn't supposed to be the husband. Melo decided to switch it up and say, "Oh, Joe's gonna be the husband." It's like great. So they just gave her the script. Basically, she's you know sneaking around with other you know with the the house help whatever. Yeah. And I'm just trying to like. It's like you've been. What's going on? Whatever. But during the time, I'm like bashing her the entire time. It's like she takes forever. This bitch takes forever to get ready. <laughs> and it's like I'm just married. I just married her I'm for her spot. money. I'm you know. Start <laughs> start training you got too much into gentleman. character. Yeah. Oh my god, I yeah. super got into character. I literally he like. You didn't have to get into character. Like, he was already. I was already in. <laughs> I was already in. It's like, yeah, don't don't call me Fox. I I really hate that name. It's a weird spelling. It's like just call me Joe, please. <laughs> that was that was fun. Yeah, but yeah, I, it was I fun. think you and I need to spar for. But sure. you know what's really interesting? Cause like um, as I was driving in here, they used to be Melo used to work at the studio. There was a studio next door. Yeah, the, the other one. I yeah. yeah. So yeah, so Melo used to work uh, the studio next door. So that's Fifty Cent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There used to be a gym there. Fifty mm-hmm. Cent used to oh, own it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Yeah, like, yeah. This is yeah, do rag days when I had. It <laughs> <laughs> was a long time ago. <laughs> This is very long ago. That's so awesome. tell us about this upcoming fight. Uh, yeah, November, November 12th. 12th right? November 12th. Um, usually when the they have, yeah, it's going to be at the Palms. I originally thought it was going to be in the resort uh, world. Well, yeah. Just because like uh, Top Rank recently, they've been having fights like in Vegas. If they're in Vegas, they're in resort world. It's like this little tent type of vibe thing. Mm-hmm. But um, but this time it's going to be in Palms. And uh, um, I don't really remember the Palm fights. That no, much, I don't, I don't, I don't it's yeah. gonna be in the. It's gonna it, be ha- like it has it has sections. It has okay. the first, you know, the floor. Sure. The the, the front. Mm-hmm. Is it the pearl? Third. Is it in the yeah. pearl? Well, that's what, that's like that. what one of the guys said. So yeah. it might it might be in that. So okay. I think it did say that because I got my ticket. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, most yeah. Likely I got it's in the, the section pearl. you told me. So. So most likely. Yeah, I, got my, I got I got a couple of Bringing my friends. I'll be out of town. We're gonna be like, hey. I keep I keep missing I'll be in LA. I gotta help help my mom out. Okay. Okay. He's gotta have his mom out. All good. All good. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll come to your like fiftieth fight (laughs) 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 when I'm like about to retire. It's like yeah, finally. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, that's crazy. So um, so when you sign for tap rank, do you have? Did they give you a ranking or did kind of like just? Oh, oh like yeah, ranking yeah, yeah. as like like as I progress as, as a fighter. Yeah, yeah. Fighter. So, so not really top rank does. It's more so a like box a box rec. rec. Box, it, okay. it's box rec's like a general like um, website for boxers. Like if you want to look up a fighter's record, who he's fought, and the record of the guys that's fought. They it's pretty de- uh, detailed. Like you know, it has a lot of like where they fought at, where you fought All the at. Stats and you stuff. Know, yeah, yeah, like how the scorecards were. Like, that would be interesting. And it goes up to like 300 something, 400 something sometimes, and then you got to work your way down. Yeah, right, so right. Like, I, I think you. mine's was like, I think there was like 892, something like that, mm-hmm. or something like that. Oh, yeah. wow. Right yeah, now, right now, high. right now, I'm like one something. Damn. I'm like okay. one something in the world right now ranked, so. Right. That's pretty yeah, yeah, So yeah. 19, that's amazing. Is yeah, there, yeah. so I mean, I, I don't know like how it works. It's like, is, do you have to win it? so many fights in order to get in the championship or well, sometimes that you, you fight the Depends. fighter that, that that with us we like to fight the fighter that that's ranked lower than us okay or higher higher so yeah, yeah. we could get 
Uh, we yeah, take his spot. I could take his spot and right. then, you know, just you know, moving on up. Sure. You know yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah. So, Makes sense. Uh, um, you know, if you feel like you know you you got the chops to beat the guy, and then it has to be in appropriate rounds though. So as ranks go, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. as your fights go, you, you know, you can't you can't win uh like a you know let's say a, a ABF title or whatever like one of those little belts. Mm -hmm. You can't win those like on a on a, you know on a four rounder. You know, sometimes yeah, yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah. six, and then there's certain ones you gotta fight for an eight and then a ten. Is it now? Are your fights going to be longer than five rounds, or is this going to be five rounds? No, no, no. no, no. I think it was yeah. six rounds. Oh, six yeah. rounds. Okay, six, 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 six rounds. Yeah, I was going to say, Newark was six. We, we oh, Newark six, okay. We were supposed to do eight for this one. Okay. But they, they couldn't fit it in. Okay. So, so they, started, know, they promised us for the next one, we're going to start. So, start, eight starting eight. off the year, next year I'll be fighting eight rounds, which is good. So, yeah. uh, um, you know, they, they, they put me on. I wanted to fight one more time for the end of the year, and mm -hmm. they, yeah. you know, they happily obliged. So, uh. You know, I'm yeah. here, and, and it's in Vegas, so, you know, I'll, I'm I'm happy with that. Yeah, you know? home ground, yeah. in a sense, yeah. You know? So That's I'm, I'm, I'm definitely happy with that, and, um, you know, I'm have everybody here and have... I'm box, excited, you know, yeah. So. Not me. You have to let us know, <laughs> yeah, let me know no. some shirts, man. I'm going to pick them all up yeah, for all my I'm friends. I'm going to try and make, a, like, a whole bunch of shirts or something just because... Like so, you know, top rank can know. Like you know, these guys are in the stands. You know, they're, they're yeah, coming to watch sure. me fight. You know, yeah, and, and, and we're here to support. Yeah, I'm bringing people. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of the social media stuff. I mean, uh, some of your friends were, were they were excited when you're, you're, uh, you're one and stuff like that. So you know, I, I yeah, I got a very, uh, I you know, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty lucky to have you know good friends, you know, boxing friends, so to say, because I don't, I don't like. Like my friends are boxing friends, you yeah. know. They're 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 in boxing, you know. It's yeah. not like you know they're really out of boxing. I had some, you know, mm -hmm. but for the most part, it's like you know we're in boxing. We understand, you know. If I, I ain't answering all day, bro, you get it, you know. Yeah, yeah I'm I training, get that. You know what I mean? Like most of my friends are people that are in some well round in my industries that I work. Right, whether right. it's this company or that company, I just, those are my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. they understand. You know, they get like, what, yeah, how they get I'm gonna feel, or mm -hmm. hey, I can't make it out tonight. I got you know I gotta focus on this, and they're like, okay, cool. You know, it's no big deal. It's yeah. not like. As compared to, I like, someone out of the sport. Yeah, people I mean, that are not, street, people that are not focused or, or, or goal-oriented or just don't have all the stuff that, you like, you have going Those on for yourself. Those are the people you don't want around. Yeah, They're going to, oh, what do, you, what do you mean you can't go out? Why do you can't do this? Why yeah, you can't? Yeah. It's like, I don't need that, and it's not my goal. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are the people you drop. Yeah, yeah, because they, you know. It's a weight. Mm -hmm. they're, they're there for yeah, a, you is. know a good time not a long time and 100%. you know occasionally you know you have you have fun you know don't overdo it in case you know case may be but you know there's a there's Just won't drink there too many yeah. <laughs> 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 no, no, too many you know I'll be hitting these too hard you start a little different already now you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I get it. Like you have to allow your mind to kind of you know ease here and there when you're you know when you have that off time yeah, to yeah, soak you know, that up. Because when I am you know when you know on your off time you know we you know at the end of the day we're humans you know people think boxers are just like like robots you know we just yeah. box and that's it that's the only time they really see right. us they don't see us like on the outside well, like it's like it's like you are you're saying you're preaching to the yeah. choir yeah. You know, because you know, i meet fans that you know only see me on their phone or computer screen and think i am alexis fox like or are they <laughs> <laughs> like i just do that all day like yeah. what do you mean you you have to eat what do you mean you have to yeah, run errands like, yeah, like you, <laughs> yeah and then people look at me as like you're so lucky you can't talk to me right <laughs> now it's like no. you're so lucky it's like no i'm not yeah. i'm not lucky i'm the, I'm the <laughs> most unfortunate person ever but um yeah so as you as you progress uh, have you been getting like I mean, maybe notor notoriety making more people more stopping you yeah, recognized? Yeah. of course of course uh um after my fights, you know, I have a lot of people that come up to me and they're like, you know, like, oh, good fight, man. You know, the thing is now I want to fight more up there in the yeah. card because, yeah. you know, me being me fighting so early, you know, it's like, you know, there's people that go there early. But, you know, nobody really goes for, like, the second fight, the first fight. Nobody's mm -hmm. not really there that early unless they, you know, they really want to be. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, but if I'm like more towards the main card. There's a lot of people there, and that's, that brings a lot more new fans. Obviously, they'll see it on top on social media later. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, but we, got, we had a, cu a couple people came up to us say, "Oh, yeah, we didn't, we wasn't here, but we were watching it on, on our phone." You know, yeah, they, yeah. Really here. they were just they, were, they were like trying man. to get there, and they would send now send me DMs like they're trying to get there, yeah. and they still they still um, it's a hard hour you know, yeah. time yeah. you know watch on the phone. So um, I yeah, definitely got a great fan base. You yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah, a lot of people always say, "Oh man, he he his fight was the best fight." You know, you know, because not only got you know, because you know, it's just you know, you beating the guy or whatever, but you know, there's a lot of excitement I bring to the fight because it's like 
It's like it's like ooh ah, you know. Well, the, like besides like you I mean your your walkouts. I mean, I think you're getting noticed. Yeah, you know, yeah. obviously it's ESPN. It's a lot of showmanship. ESPN, I love it. Cause, um, yeah, because you know at the end of the day, it's a it's a sport, of course. But at the end of the day, like you know, you gotta perform. I'm I'm in the business. I'm performing. You know, there's people that they're coming there for the fight. But if you bring something a little more. Then that that'll be a yeah. memorable night in their, in their head. Yeah, it you catches know, people's eyes. Like say there's another fight card in in their um in their area, right? Or they could reach to it, and and they don't really like the main event, but they 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 see my name and they're like, oh, I remember that kid from last. Yeah, oh, let's yeah, go, let's yeah. go. Why not? You know? Yeah. And uh, let's see what he's wearing this time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm excited That's for your outfit. Don't yeah. tell me. I'm gonna be excited. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely gonna be nice. You but know? it's yeah, I like that. It gives you it sets you apart from everybody else because everybody's just walking out, looking normal, doing their yeah. normal thing. Mm-hmm. And it's like okay, cool, get it. That's your personality, but it's it, it really does add to the whole persona and your brand because you are a brand. In right, that right. Sense. You yeah. know, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know? I'm promoting myself at you know basically at the end of the day, and the plat top rings the platform, and and I do as I please with it. You know, yeah, right. And I'm trying to make the best of it. You know, me and my pops were trying to, you know, bring something different. You know, and uh, bring some showmanship to the sport. Right. So how? I mean, let's go back. To how was it like going back home, like in New York? I know, unfortunately, your, yeah, your, your grandfather passed away. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, besides that incident, I mean, it was a great experience, you know, just to fight in New York and, and Madison Square Garden. I mean, well, you we know. We finally get to sightsee. Yeah. To yeah. Like, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm a tourist. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, now, like, I can go and, and be a tourist. Like, I could. What was the places that you went to besides, obviously, Colorado? Well, I, I went, went to the city, and I just just walked around yeah. so you much know. and just yeah. seen yeah. so Man, many Hattie, different we things. We went up to the, the towers. We took the ferry. You know, the ferry. Oh, we, yeah, we took oh, that, nice. uh, that that same, you know, the one that goes super high? Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, the highest point. The summit thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. We went to the Empire State Building. We've oh, been nice. trying to do uh, a Statue of Liberty, but it, the yeah. last ride is at three. Yeah, and then we got there, like, where we got there, like, four? Yeah, 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 we got that like four. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and we were like, ah, it's all right though. They have a really decent helicopter ride in New York. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I did, took the helicopter. Did helicopter right. Right. Yeah, I did up there, and it goes right around. It's yeah, really beautiful. New like York's I, beautiful. Like I said sky. before the pod, the the podcast, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. Uh, you gotta try I, yeah, it. I didn't. I haven't been on a helicopter yet. I, I'm down to do those crazy things like. I was, I was so you're skydiving. Talking about skydiving early, yeah, I was right? skydive. Yeah. yeah, I was skydive. Uh, bungee dude, jump, I'll go skydiving that. with you. You know, I'm I'm fun. down. That's like, <laughs> no. that's like I don't know. No, that's, that's, that's my type of thing. Does not allow me yeah, to go skydiving. You know, I'm, I'm more of a like, you know, I like to go to the scariest roller coaster rather than go to like you know, go to the kitty ride. You but know, I mean, you a friend of mine my friend of mine actually skydived and then after that going on a roller coaster ride is nothing. It's like nothing, yeah, because yeah, because the thrill is like and that's where thrill seekers, uh, thrill seekers, they, you know, they they kind of push it because it's like they say to keep skydiving. And it's like, all right, let me, let me not pull it, pull my parachute a little, <laughs> a little, <laughs> a little longer now, yeah, yeah. A, little, a little bit longer, just, and just then, a second longer, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got those, you know, those right those, there. those uh, free divers that jumped off the cliffs and stuff like that, and you yeah, see how they close have those wing suits and stuff. Yeah, those, those guys those are crazy. freaking crazy. Yeah, those yeah, guys I are crazy. I find that the free climbers, that seems scarier to me yes. than being hanging oh, on yeah. the side of a and wall with just your fingertips yeah, just and your toes. Yeah, yeah, like they, they have they have really good, like, they the have grip. like crazy grip. grip. Yeah. It's crazy. Spider-Man. Obviously, they train for that, but it's like, they, well, you know, they slip or say a rock is shifted or whatever. Mm hmm. It yeah, you're done. I mean, yeah, it I depends had, on I the height too. I had friends that would train for their fingers like that, and they would build like build these slats on the wall and like just hang in these weird positions just to get like these fingertips like like yeah, so get them used to it. You yeah, know? yeah. Because I mean that's that's pretty primal. Like like you know, that's humans. You know, we we weren't always in shoes, and you know. <laughs> You know, at some point we were on all fours. You know what I mean? You know, yeah, so yeah, we're yeah. not climbing cliffs. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, you know. I mean, yeah, like like to the extent, yeah. But you know, we we were like, you know, probably just. I think that's as primal as it gets. You know, doing like doing stuff, stuff like, like that, yeah, doing yeah. stuff like that because it's like that's what we had, what we did. You know, just yeah, whatever. You know, we didn't care. Yeah. So after this fight, pretty much. Um, just waiting for the next fight. I mean, it's, it's, this is gonna be the last fight of the year. Last fight of the year. Um. It was projected no, uh, December, but then, you know, they called me for November and the opportunity presented itself. I'm here. So I'm like, well, why not? You know, yeah. why not? So I'm going to fight this and then um, Cause of the, the Christmas. Because you had a last minute one what, earlier, right? The yeah, it was. Um, oh, the New York one. The New York one was yeah. the last minute one. Yeah, New York. So, no, it was. Yeah, New it, York. Yeah, it was New York. We had San Diego first and then they said, oh, you want to fight, fight New, New York? York. I think it was in a like month, right? It was, no, it was, no, it was, it was like two, three weeks. Two, three weeks. That's right. That's all. That's right. It was pretty Yeah. Wow. Okay, that, that, that was pretty and dope. And came I mean, back to fight again. 
yeah. yeah in San Diego. Is it easier when the fights are closer together um, to keep training like that because you're just conditioning, 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 or do sometimes you like it, having a break? Sometimes it is, and sometimes it's like you you need a break. Okay, but gotcha. Like it depends there, on how your body yeah. feels and how you feel. So like. He you know, don't hurt to get hit. Yeah, anyway, so so I, like, I felt all right. I'm like, I'm cool. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, to yeah. fight again. Uh, you know, obviously I could say no. I could say yes. But um, you know, I just felt I felt good. Like I didn't, right. I didn't take no punishment. What did you? Uh, um, I'm trying to remember. Did we talk about recovery? So what do you do to recover? Well, normally, I mean, I kind of just like do whatever, like Epsom salt bath, bath you know, ice, ice bath, bath, stuff yeah, like that, stuff. general stuff. But I am trying to get more into like recover my body more. So I'm trying to get cryotherapy some would be yeah. really good. I do, I yeah, do cryotherapy that before, before my fight. fight. Like yeah, ap- yeah, yeah. after wins, before my fight, I always um, I do that. What about like massages? What about like massages or like? Yeah, so yeah, that that's it depends, it depends on, yeah. on like how, like who's available and and how all that works. Right. Yeah, but I know some per, um physical uh, physical therapist and massage um therapist. If right. you yeah, yeah, yeah that no are problem. good and registered. One worked with the um I think one of it was that they worked with the Raiders. That's my physical therapist. Yeah. And they'll make home visits. Okay. And they yeah. also have a facility that you can go to. So right, I'll make right. sure I share that information yeah, yeah. with you guys. Yeah, after. You it's know. always good because be, I was a licensed massage therapist when I was in Florida. So I worked with just athletes. I didn't do like relaxation massages. I'm not into that. So and I worked with like tennis players. With, yeah. with, with, with happy yeah. endings? Like, <laughs> Wait, was Deshaun Watson? My, my elbows <laughs> was, and knees. Deshaun Watson called you up? I will tell you. I will tell you that I was offered quite a it's so guys are so weird. <laughs> All of a sudden, like they'll be on their stomach and their butt, like they have a sheet over and their butts will. I'm like, there's not a ghost under there. <laughs> <laughs> I, what do you want, sir? It's not gonna happen on my table. God, I'm just like, what, what goes through your head? But like, I, I because I worked with those athletes and, and just in pain and recovery. Like when Sony Erickson was in town, I I worked in the men's locker room working with the guys. Mm-hmm. Just. Be, I was really good at what I did, but like, <laughs> and it was great. Um, but um, it really does help the body to recover, loosen that up. Cupping is really a great therapy to use. Just yeah, to create. I was, the I was thinking about that. You know, don't you have? Do you have I, I actually set? did cupping. Um, yeah. I have cups at my How house. How long does that last? Like, Only about three or four days. Um, that you'll have the like, marks, like those, and it's yeah, not those, it's not painful. Circles. So what it's doing is bringing a lot of that um, fresh blood and nutrients into the cells and pushing all the new um, crap out. So uh, that's going to create space and movement in between your muscles. So you know if you're pounding weights and moving or boxing, you get tight, right? And mm. you're like, fuck, I'm a little tight right now. Um, what that will do is create a little air in between there right. and kind of loosen you up, and then you can start moving and get that range of motion back and get back to like where you, the level that you need to be. Yeah, I did. I did, so really did the incredible. same thing, but they had the little props. Not the big ones? Yeah, I got big and little. So it depends on where you want it. So if like your neck or here and there where I'm doing therapy will depend on where I want to put that. Obviously, your biggest tissues and your muscles, you want to put the larger cups because you want to, you know, work those the best you can. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, 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 cupping is one of my favorite therapies and so is gua sha. Both of those are kind of the same, um, kind of the same, uh, uh, concept behind it is just bringing that fresh blood and nutrients up to it. Gua sha is the scraping the oh, yeah, out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's yeah, what they do yeah. with your wrist. Yeah, yeah you'll, or, or you'll or see that. it with Graston. Yeah, 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 they'll do that a mm. lot. It's great if you, like, have tendons that are tough around the knees. Yeah. I'll do it on my neck and do my elbows and just rock it yeah, out. Yeah, I've done yeah. that on my wrist before. It's like yep. a little one. And yep. you had, like, you know, just, you know, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Little things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pain uh, recovery when you're, you're doing high performance you know how you know how yeah high volume stuff and especially at the stage i'm at does require a lot of that you know <laughs> so i'm still getting more you know used to that more new to that um, you it know. becomes like almost like a yeah, because I mean, I mean you're 19 but like once you get older your yeah, body has yeah it'll take bigger toll like training obviously like lifting weights like right now i'm 19 so I'll, i'm like straight like i can deal with it i can right. take an epsom salt bath i'll be all right you know yeah, but, but as you get older <laughs> as you get older you, you wake know. up and like ah, <laughs> i just i just took a nap my back is in i know get up the other day I'm like, Fuck. yeah <laughs> <laughs> like you know, <laughs> he's like I. That's all I, yeah, I need that massage. Like that, yeah, <laughs> he be wanting me doing stuff. I'm like, <laughs> are you running up that mountain? Yeah, I am. Yeah. I'm done. I'm, like, like, I'm in the done. car right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with you on my e bag. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Until I go up there, the way so um, so what do you know about your next your next opponent? Uh, he's like a mini veteran, uh, okay. almost. You know, he, he sort of boxes. Uh, he has like seventeen fights, I believe. Okay. So, so uh, uh, you know, it, it it gives me you know more experience, and and he has predominantly more wins than he does losses. So, I, it's still a, a a good look, and um, I mean, hey, it just brings more experience. You know, and I'm looking to push. And show. this is the gro- the the oldest uh, fighter he fought. 
Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, okay. the oldest fighter I will fight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. like, so, far, right so far, so far. 28? 28, 28, yeah, okay. You know, so he, he, he's he's pretty grown, you yeah, know? Yeah, So, uh, uh, um, you know, definitely. same weight class, so we can't same be weight, yeah, same weight, that yeah, grown. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> same weight class, you know, my weight, so, yeah. you know. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> talking shit already <laughs> for you. Just a shit now talker. Now we're going to have to get there. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, yeah. So uh, it, it, it definitely bring me a good look and I'm looking to, you know, perform and, and, and put on a great show Fuck and, yeah. and, and, you know, and, and in a spectacular fashion. So, you know, that's what we look for every fight and obviously I'm working on stuff. I'm getting better. Um, he is Southpaw. So, uh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, is that your first I, time I, fr- no, fighting Southpaw? No, I, mm-hmm. Well, any amateurs, I fought a million Southpaws. But, like, you know, even, like, pros, I, I, I fought uh, um, Daniel. That was actually, I, that's, I did a podcast with y'all before. Okay. Before that fight. Mm-hmm. In New, that was the one in New York. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. Gotcha. So, uh, him, and he he's a really good Southpaw, you know. And, and, you know, obviously, I was able to do what I did and box him, so. Um, I'm gonna just learn and just keep doing what I got to do, mm-hmm. and I I know what I have to do in the ring. You know, me and my father, you know, you know, coach and and boxer, so we understand what we have to do and and what we need to improve on. And I'm working on it every day, and I mean that's the goal. You know, I'm getting closer and closer to a title, and uh, um, you know, next year I'll start eight rounds, you know, and then possibly ten, possibly mm-hmm. ten. Oh fuck yeah! So Woo-hoo. you know, toward like towards the, I think like. At least the second half of the year. Yeah. That's probably when we'll start thinking about 10s. Depends on how many times I fight and, uh, you know, how well the fight went, you know, and how I feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, um, we're looking to go 8, maybe towards 10. And then the year after, I think it's uh, I think it's title. Well, I think it's title. Oh, that's going to be I think amazing. it's title. Unless the opportunity presents itself next year. I mean, I mean yeah. I'm down. I don't yeah, care. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. You know, but, uh, um, you know, I'm here. I'm, I'm in the sport for, uh, you know, to put, into, put into pain. So, you know, I'm I'm learning and I'm getting better. I'm around a lot of a lot of great guys, a lot of great fighters, and uh, um, I mean the show's in the ring. Yeah, that's so. It was absolutely amazing to watch you fight. I cannot wait till November twelfth, and I cannot wait to be cheering. Make sure if you do get the shirts ready, I'm yeah, yeah, get a couple. I, yeah, I, I, I want to be I in the you. team uniform. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, um, go ahead and uh, plug your social media and stuff like that. Will help people can follow you. So yeah, you can follow me on Instagram, Floyd Cash, Floyd Diaz. Um, Twitter is the real cash flow, right? At the real cash. At the real cash flow. Uh, I might have to change that. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, you know, just follow me on Facebook. Flow cash and, and then and, and then that. for tickets, um, go to where did you go? Oh, so you would go. You would uh, either Instagram. go to yeah. You would go to my Instagram or you know my father's. Um, we mm-hmm. ha- I have the link in my bio. Okay. And and it takes you to t- uh, through a Ticketmaster link, and it'll show like what seats are available. And it's you know as soon as you it, it'll just say you know fighter unlock. You know, you put in my code. It's cash flow. It's it's not case sensitive, so it could be lowercase, uppercase. Super easy. And then it's, yeah, it's, it's easy, it's simple, and you know, you pick what tickets you want and where you want to sit at, and and yeah, you know. Yeah, awesome. and we'll also we'll put that up on the uh, YouTube. Okay, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll probably we'll post it next week. Yeah, yeah. We'll and do it sure, next week. Make sure we get this all up. Yeah, click that yeah. link if y'all gonna come out. You know, I appreciate every single one of my fans, and uh, I'm definitely gonna put on a show. And give yeah. uh, you know give you all your money's worth for sure. Yeah, awesome. well, I'm thank excited. Thank you, well, thank you for inviting me to this great uh, yeah. gym and stuff like that. So yeah, no problem. Great thanks yeah. for having us here people. and thanks for taking your time and this is so awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. No problem. Drinking, drinking, obviously beer. You know, modelos. <laughs> <laughs> modelos. The party is about to start, folks. <laughs> <You know. laughs> We're going to get Death. hydrated and mind our own business. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Liquid Death, for giving two pallets, case of cases. Now we're trying to get rid of them. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank cool. you. Yeah. Peace.